Okay, uh, we are going to learn. Good afternoon. Good evening. Sorry, and uh, we are going to learn uh, gas loss. We request gas loss. Okay, gas loss. And the first gas law is a Boyle's law. Boyle's law. Uh, Boyle's law. Okay, what is the Boyle's law says? Okay, what is the Boyle's law says? States that. In a fixed mass of gas, pressure is inversely 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 proportional to its volume. Provided temperature is kept constant. This is a this is Boyle's law. Boyle's law. Boyle's law. It's not Boyle's law. Boyle's law states that in a fixed mass of gas, in a fixed mass of gas. Pressure is inversely proportional. Pressure is inversely proportional to its volume. Volume provided temperature is kept constant. Temperature is kept constant. Temperature is unchanged. Lah. Temperature is not changing. Volume and pressure changing. How they change? Inversely proportional. How the pressure change to volume? Okay, the pressure. Pressure inversely proportional to volume. Pressure inversely proportional to volume. So, if pressure increase, volume decrease. If volume increase, pressure decrease. So, one increase, one decrease. Provided temperature is kept constant. Provided temperature is kept constant. Temperature is constant. Okay? And uh, the pressure, pressure and uh, volume. So, uh, you change the formula. This is the relationship between pressure and volume. Between pressure and volume, this, this is a relationship, relationship. La. And um, we're going to learn uh, what you call it uh, the formula. The formula, the formula is P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. The manner P L R pressure. Pressure is in it Pascal, and the view V is a volume meter cube. So P is pressure, V is volume. Okay, P one V one equals to P two V two. P one V one equals to P two V two. This is a, this is the relationship between pressure and volume. Boyle's law says pressure. Inversely proportional to volume. Okay, that means pressure increase, volume decrease. If volume increase, pressure decrease. So one increase, one decrease. One increase, one decrease. So that is called uh, inversely proportional. Lah. Inversely proportional. And the formula P one V one equals to P two V two. P one V one equals to P two and V two. And uh, P equals to pressure and V equals to volume. There's a four graphs you're supposed to know. Uh, Boyle's law of four graphs. That is called four graphs. Four graphs. Okay. The first graph. P and volume. Pressure and volume is inversely proportional. Graph like this. Next graph. Pressure is 1 over volume. Pressure was 1 over volume is a directly proportional graph. Third graph. Uh, PV versus V. Pressure times volume and volume. is a constant graph. And the fourth graph. And the fourth graph. PV versus P, PV versus P also constant graph. So the four graphs, 
There are four graphs. Pressure versus volume. The, the graph is curve graph, like inversely proportional graph, curve graph. P versus 1 over V is a directly proportional. And PV versus V is a constant graph. PV versus P is a constant graph. The four graph. The four graph is talking about the same thing, same Boyle's law. Four graph, but a different, different way of uh, uh, taking the information. Uh, PV versus P, all that pressure tax volume. So they are taking information different. But the four graphs are talking about same Boyle's law graph, same Boyle's law graph. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, we are going to learn some questions. Uh, some questions are uh, easy questions, very easy questions. Uh, that question most probably will not come to exam. Most probably will not come to exam. Okay, this question. Okay. Um, okay, this one guess. There's a guess. And uh, the pressure uh, equals to 1 times 10 power 5 Pascal and the volume equals to 10 meter cube. For example, 10 meter cube volume. The same container, they bring it okay. Same container, it's not two container, it's the same container. The same container, they bring the ombola, they call it uh, the piston, they bring the piston down. The piston down and as a result of it, and the volume become 5 meter cube. What is the new pressure? So, we consider P1 and volume 1. Pressure 1, volume 1. This one is volume 2, volume 2. Pressure 2. So what is the pressure to? Same, same formula. P1, V1 equals to P2, P2. P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. And the pressure 1 is 1 times 10 power 5. Volume 1 is 10. Uh, pressure 2, we don't know. Volume 2 is 5. So P2 is 1 times 10 power 5 times 10 divided by 5. So 5 and 10, 2. So the pressure 2 is the 2 times 10 power 5 Pascal. This is the pressure 2. This is the pressure of this container. Why the pressure increase? The pressure 1 is 1 times 10 power 5. Pressure 2, pressure 2 is 2 times double, double of the pressure of uh, first, uh, first diagram. Double of the pressure. Why the pressure become double? Why the pressure become double? Why? Why the pressure become double? Because volume has decreased. Volume decrease, pressure increase. Pressure decrease, volume increase. That is Boyle's law. That is Boyle's law. Most probably this question will not come for exam. But I will, uh, so we call it so-called appetizer, appetizer, something like a, uh, we, uh, we want to eat something before we eat uh, heavy food, we take some, some light food, la. something like this. Something like this. This question more, most probably won't come. But this question I'm going to teach you now. That question maybe most probably will come to exam. Okay. Okay. Uh, this question is. Uh, uh, this question is um, in the page. Uh, I gave this question page for you. This page I gave you. I, I, I taught this question also to you. This, uh, there's a one question, question 5 at the end of the page. Question 5, end of the page. This page I never give you. I think so, I never give you. But I will give you question 5 here and here. Here, both and both here. Maybe I gave this question to you. I don't know. But I will, I will check the video. Uh, if I never give this question to you, I will give the question to you. Okay. This question. This question. Question 5 here and continue with the question here. Okay, question 5 here. And uh, a small amount of air is trapped inside capillary tube by a thread of mercury of length of 5 cm. Figure 5 point shows one shows capillary tube in vertical position. 
with open facing upwards. Figure 5.2 shows a capillary tube in a vertical position with the open and facing downwards. Atmosphere pressure 76 cmHg. Atmosphere pressure 76 cmHg. Okay. And um, we are going to learn uh, atmosphere pressure. Atmosphere pressure 76 cmHg. Okay, state Boyle's law. State Boyle's law. And the Boyle's law, I state this not to you. Hmm? Boyle's law, I state to you. In a fixed mass of gas, uh, pressure is uh, inversely proportional to volume provided temperatures can come sell up. What is the air pressure of the column in figure 5.1? The atmosphere pressure, there are three values for atmosphere pressure, but same value. They are same value for atmospheric pressure, but uh, different units, different units. The first atmospheric pressure, atmospheric pressure, they give 76 cmHg or 75 cmHg, la, centimeter Hg, Hg means mercury, la, the measured mercury. So, atmospheric pressure. Another atmospheric pressure, 10 meter water. This also atmospheric pressure. Another, uh, another pressure is 1 times 10 power 5 Pascal. This is SI unit, like SI unit pressure. The same, this, these are three, three also atmospheric, at, atmospheric pressure. They are measured in a different unit, like, different units, but the same value. 76 cmHg is the same value as a 10 meter water, is the same value as a 1 times 10.5 Pascal. Okay, same value, but different, different units, like. they're given a different, different units, okay. And um, we're going to learn the 76 cmHg. Today we're going to learn uh, 76 cmHg. So uh, the tube, this tube, 5.1. Huh? Five point one. This is mercury, five cm. This is Hg. Hg is mercury trap. Then air trap. The air trap inside. Air trap inside. The air trap inside. The mercury length is five cm. Okay. And uh, what is the air pressure uh, of the air column in five point one? In five point one. Five point one is open. Uh, open upwards. Okay, this one we have to do uh, one method, different lah, different method. This one is this question. I will uh, teach you. Which is important question? I think so because your new syllabus has changed. But this question, capital question, is quite tough questions lah. This is tough questions. Normally, normally this question is a very very tough question. But uh, I will teach you that you can understand this better. Uh, this capital tip question. Okay. Anything open, open, anything open, atmospheric pressure come in. Atmospheric pressure come in. Anything open, open downwards, open sideways, or open upwards, anything open, atmospheric pressure will come in. Atmospheric pressure will come in. Okay, next one, next one. Um, here, the mercury, mercury got weight. Mercury got weight. So the mercury pressure, mercury pressing the air, mercury, the weight of the mercury pressing the air. So there's a two pressure acting on the air. Two pressure acting upon the air. So one pressure, atmosphere pressure plus weight of mercury. So the question number two, the air pressure, Equals to atmosphere pressure, atmosphere pressure plus pressure by weight of mercury. Atmosphere pressure plus pressure weight of mercury. The two pressure acting same direction. Two pressure acting same direction. So. Atmosphere pressure. What is atmosphere pressure? 
according to this question, at most pressure they give the value 76 cmh. This is another one of the unit of the pressure. Uh, pressure unit normally Pascal. Pressure unit normally Pascal. But this is another unit. Centimeter Hg also is a unit for pressure. The weight pressure by weight of mercury. Pressure by weight of mercury. Because this is mercury Hg, this is also mercury. This is mercury. At most pressure also measured in given, given value is mercury. So, pressure by weight of mercury. The height of the mercury considered pressure. Height of the mercury. So, is 5 cm. 5 cm Hg. Hg, mercury. Because height of the mercury is considered pressure. Because Hg is uh, this this uh, this pressure unit given, atmospheric pressure unit given, 76 Hg, cm Hg. And the 5 cm uh, centimeter Hg is a uh, mercury, uh, 5 cm height of the mercury is a considered pressure. So, what is the answer? Uh, 81, I think, 81 cm Hg. 81 cm Hg. Okay, 81 cm Hg. That is a, uh, this is pressure 1. Pressure one. Okay, pressure one. Question number three. Uh, question number three. Question number three. What is the pressure of the air column in figure 5.2? 5.2. Okay, 5.2 is the this the tube. Five cm mercury is mercury, and the length of air column y is air column. Air, air, is air trapped inside. So air pressure, this pressure two pressure acting, atmosphere pressure and the weight of mercury pressing the air. Air pressure, air pressure. Okay, but this one is air is trapped inside. So they asking the air uh, what is the air pressure lah. So question number three. Question number three, what is air pressure? Question number three. What is air pressure? Okay. This one opening downwards. So at most pressure acting this way. At most pressure acting this way. At most pressure acting this way. Because open downwards. Wherever open is at most pressure acting. But the weight of the mercury, weight of the mercury acting this way. Coming downwards. Weight always downwards. Weight always downwards. So the weight acting downwards. Huh? Okay, question number three. So question number three and air pressure. The air pressure is equal to at most pressure minus because at most pressure acting upwards. The weight of the mercury acting downwards, the acting downwards. So it's a two different directions. But here direction same. So you plus. Direction same. So plus. But this one direction different. So minus uh, pressure. Pressure by weight of mercury. Huh? Pressure by weight of mercury. At most pressure. Uh, at most pressure 76. CMHG uh, at most pressure is uh, pressure weight of the mercury is a 5 cm. The height of the mercury considered five, uh, pressure. Height of the mercury considered pressure. 5 cm Hg. So 76 minus 5. What is answer? 71 cm Hg. Hg. This is pressure number 2. Pressure number 2. This is pressure number 1. Question number two. Okay, question number uh, question number four. For, for calculate the length of air column. Length of air column. Length of air column in fa figure 5.2. 5.2. This is 5.2. Figure 5.2. They ask the length of air column. But this length of air column is 14 cm. This length of air column 14 cm. 14 cm. So, the length of air column is considered volume. Length of air column considered volume. Because the cross-section area, 
the cross section area the cross section area times uh, length is volume cross section area to cross section area cross section area to and times the length of a column is a volume so the cross section area is fixed this cross section area is fixed both the cross section area say a a the cross section area a a so cross section area is not uh, considered by by right cross section area may consider by a a and same so but length of co air column the length of air column consider volume because length of air column times area is a pressure uh, volume no? length of air column times uh, area is a volume so length of air column times area is volume so the length of air column consider as volume so the volume one this one volume one 14 cm the length of air column consider as volume if you don't understand this one, I will teach you another day. Nah? Okay, uh, the cross section area and all that. Okay, maybe I'll teach you. But length of air column consider volume. You must understand. Length of air column consider as volume. This one length of air column V2. What is the V2? This is a V1, 14 cm. V2. It's the same tube. Same gas. Same air is trapped inside. Is it not two different tubes? No, it's the same tube. The tube is like this. And the tube like this. In 5.1 is like this. Upright. In 5.2 is upside down. No? So that is called volume 2. No? Volume 2. Volume 2 is Y. Y C N. So uh, question number 4. P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. P1 V1 equals to P2 V2. We learned just now the uh, we learned just now the, uh, the formula for voice law. No? P1, V1 equals to P2, V2. The P1, P1, the pressure 81 CMHG. Actually, no need to write CMHG, but I write, write for you. Uh, 81 CMHG. And the volume 1 is 14 CM. And pressure 2. Pressure 2, 71 CM. AG. And volume 2 is uh, Y. Y, uh, volume 2 is Y. So CMHG, CMHG, CMHG cancel. So A times 4, 8, sorry, 81, huh? 81. 81 times 14 cm, 70 cm, 80, 70, 70, 71 times Y. Cm, 80, cm, 80 cancel, huh? 81, 81 times 14. So Y equals to, okay, Y equals to the answer, hmm, Sixteen say fifteen point nine seven fifteen point nine seven fifteen point nine seven cm. So it goes to y equals to uh, sixteen cm. No? So y equals to sixteen cm. Y equals to sixteen cm. So y is increased. Y is increased means the volume is increased. The length of air column increase means volume is increased. Why volume is increased? Because pressure is decreased. 